Next question is a network engineer implements a new Cisco firepower device on the network to take advantages of its intrusion detection functionality. There is a requirement to analyze the traffic going across the device, alert on any malicious traffic and appear as a bump in the wire. How should this be implement, implemented? Option A. Specify the BVI IP address as the default gateway for connected devices. Option B. Enable routing on the Cisco Firepower. Option C. Add an IP address to the physical Cisco Firepower interfaces. Option D. Configure a bridge group in transparent mode. Correct answer is option D. Next question is which two conditions must be met to enable high availability between two Cisco FTD devices? Choose two options. Option A. Same flash memory size. Option B. Same NTP configuration. Option C. Same DHCP PPoE configuration. Option D. Same host name. Option E. Same number of interfaces. Correct answer is option B and option E. Next question is an engineer is building a new access control policy using Cisco FMC. The policy must inspect a unique IPS policy as well as log rule matching. Which action must be taken to meet these requirements? Option A. Configure an IPS policy and enable per rule logging. Option B. Disable the default IPS policy and enable global logging. Option C. Configure an IPS policy and enable global logging. Option D. Disable the default IPS policy and enable per rule logging. Correct answer is option A. Next question is which two OSPF routing features are configured in Cisco FMC and propagated to Cisco FTD? Choose two options. Option A. OSPF V2 with IPv6 capabilities. Option B. Virtual links. Option C. SHA authentication to OSPF packets. Option D. Area boundary router type 1 LSA filtering. Option E. MD5 authentication to OSPF packets. Correct answer is option B and option E. Next question is when creating a report template how are the results limited to show only the activity of a specific subnet? Option A. Create a custom search in Cisco FMC and select it in each section of the report. Option B. Add an input parameter in the advanced settings of the report and set the type to network IP. Option C. Add a table view section to the report with the search field defined as the network in CIDR format. Option D. Select IP address as the x-axis in each section of the report. Correct answer is option B. Next question is what is the disadvantage of setting up a site-to-site -site VPN in a clustered unit environment. Option A. VPN connections can be re-established only if the field master unit recovers. Option B. Smart license is required to maintain VPN connections simultaneously across all cluster units. Option C. VPN connections must be re-established 
when a new master unit is elected. Option D. Only established VPN connections are maintained when a new master unit is elected. Correct answer is option C. Next question is, what are two features of bridge group interface in Cisco FTD? Choose two options. Option A, the BVI IP address must be in a separate subnet from the connected network. Option B, bridge groups are supported in both transparent and routed firewall modes. Option C, Bridge groups are supported only in transparent firewall mode. Option D. Bidirectional forwarding detection eco packets are allowed through the FTD when using bridge group members. Option E. Each directly connected network must be on the same subnet. Correct answer is option C and option D. Next question is, which two actions can be used in an access control policy rule? Choose two options. Option A, block with reset. Option B, monitor. Option C, analyze. Option D, discover. Option E, block all. Correct answer is option A and option B. Next question is, which two routing options are valid with Cisco FTD? Choose two options. Option A, BGP V6. Option B, ECMP with up to three equal cost paths across multiple interfaces. Option C, ECMP with up to three equal cost paths across a single interface. Option D, BGP B4 in transparent firewall mode. Option E, BGP V4 with non-stop forwarding. Correct answer is option A and option C. Next question is, which Cisco Firepower rule action displays on HTTP warning page? Option A, monitor. Option B, block. Option C, interactive block. Option D, allow with warning. Correct answer is option C, 